thought I'd do a quick video on the rumour that James Collins hasn't been given a new deal by West Ham. To me, this was a way of winning, well not winning back, but getting a little bit of credit back with the fans. Um, you only had to have watched or seen or been at the last game of the season and the reaction that he got from the fans. Now, whether you think James Collins should be there next season, whether you think he passed it, um, I'm, I think he's good to have around the club. Um, you know, it's not when he, okay, he's not particularly, he's quite injury prone, but what he brings is so much. And when he does play, he's, he plays well. Um, I think he's a valuable member to have around the team. And regardless, even if you don't think that that's right, if it's true that he has been told by email that he's not going to be given another contract and he's being released, it is absolutely disgusting. And just another thing to add to the list of why the board just don't have any idea. Um, I'd love to see Ginge given, you know, just a year's contract extension, um, maybe take on some coaching capacity. Um, but regardless, if, if it's true and they've told him in that way and they know how much the fans like him because they were there, they saw the reaction and they know how much West Ham means to, to Collins, then it's absolutely disgraceful in my opinion. Obviously, it's the manager's decision and we don't know who that manager is going to be um, and they may not want him at the club and that's a totally different a totally different issue because at the end of the day we can't say that we want the manager taking charge um, and then be annoyed that the board have, have got rid of him if, if the manager doesn't want him but until we get that manager I think that that should be his choice um, just such a simple thing to win back a little bit of the fans respect and they still couldn't do it so to me I, I just don't understand it I just do not understand what goes on in their minds it's like they purposely do the opposite to what us fans want and I can't see that that is true but everything they do seems to point in that direction so let me know um, did you want Collins to be given another contract do you think his time was up and actually he didn't deserve a contract uh, do you think it's right how they've told him if it's true or like me regardless of your opinion there was a way to do it and believe that Jin should have been given the proper send off he deserved um, even if it wasn't a testimonial which I thought would be nice if he could have had that final game that it was his send off properly and I mean we kind of did give him a send off but you know, we all thought there might be a chance that he'd be back with us next season. In my opinion, he deserves some recognition for how brilliant he's been for this club and how much he loves West Ham. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment and follow me on Twitter at Flump9. Come on, you irons.